so friends uh, today i'm going to show my workflow uh, the way which i use the photoshop tools i mean basic tools to design this stuff i mean quickly coming up with the characters or product de designs um, like whatever industry you are in if you are into concept designing of uh, characters game characters i mean or you are into production or you are a newbie and you want to learn uh, the workflow of pros who are in industry from like uh, five to six years you don't want to spend like five six years just to gain the same experience and as you guys know most of the people don't like to share whatever their techniques are as, as it's quite common an artist should know how to hide his secrets well uh, as you can see i have just drawn a character which is uh, uh, which is already gone and uh, after that i have started making a, a weird thing which is uh, yet not uh, recognizable and uh, uh, it's basically coming out uh, randomly like i am uh, cutting out the shapes with the lasso tool in photoshop so here you can see i am blocking out the some some sort of gate entrance or um, like if you will place a character here you can actually uh, visualize the basic uh, height of this environment as uh, when i was drawing that environment uh, in my mind i was planning a game and so game sort of environment and uh, after that i started working on this concept which you are looking at right now uh, it's basically outdoor landscape and uh, uh, sort of the unboxing on the right middle corner uh, sorry right middle portion uh, that's like you can put an entrance or a building there and rest are the um, you can say the hills whatever uh, currently I am blocking out the basic shapes and basic shadows and now you can see that I have just blocked the uh, background of uh, like on the in, according to perspective I have drawn the mountains which are quite far away so just to give a bit more depth like most of the pros are doing these days <laughs> Well, uh, you can see I have just added few more highlighting colors and uh, just color corrections to figure out if I can come up with a new thing. Well, that was it. I will upload the final images in the last of video. And here you can see the character, which is also a quick version. And you don't have to worry about the basic character shapes. I mean. Uh, correct proportions just start blocking it randomly you can refine it later on because the hardest part of drawing a concept is coming up of coming up with a new fresh thing and after that you can uh, sketch the ideas like you can see uh, my design is not looking very professional here not much a very professional here so I'm just blocking out the shapes uh, as uh, according to my uh, my tutorial I just wanted to show how quickly you can uh, come up with the concepts so uh, proportions are not in my mind I mean they are not my priority here so uh, just showing so showing you the workflow and after this I can refine any of the character like if uh, you are working for a gaming company or whatever you have to submit the basic shapes you can send these as well and now as you can see that one is completed and here I got just a little, little bit more creative and uh, used the that uh, tool where you can you know I forgot the name of it you can uh, from the transpose I guess transpose <laughs> sorry uh, well uh, here you can see I'm drawing a crocodile or alligator sort of character and it's a quite random now you you can see I've just drawn some lines because I wanted to get the basic shape of uh, the alligator and made some few copies of his teeth sharp teeth and uh, still work is workflow is going on and uh, like 
when i am doing these uh, this characters most of the time shadows are in my mind like the um, where light is not reaching that portions are in my mind so that i can show bit of the depth and here you can see i am i am adding my base uh, drawing as i was not satisfied with it and as you can see i have not finalized it so i i, I can edit it <laughs> because uh, most of them when we are finalizing a character and i mean like line shapes you get lazy i mean you start uh, start to think why should i delete this thing because i have already done uh, done this thing and our minds get started to adapt to that particular design and start judging right yes whatever i have drawn is fine so uh, this kind this workflow actually helps you come up with the new designs with a patient output <laughs> well uh, okay that that design is complete and now here you can see that i am uh, working on a product design like a lawn mower and uh, if you guys don't know about lawn mower so you can go to the google god and search whatever you want so just go there and hit lawn mower you will come up with few images so i'm designing it and here i use the uh, for the handles i use the d uh, the text d capital and uh, you can experiment any way you uh, any uh, any way i mean whatever how creative you are just if you know the basics of any software you can use all the ways and breaking all the rules in that path <laughs> and here i am bit coming up with the perspective and it was not it was not correct but uh, you can uh, as i said earlier you can finalize it later on and here in this shape in uh, this design you can see you can either uh, transform this design into a spacecraft uh, sci-fi version or like here when i was drawing this my shaving machine was in my mind <laughs> so uh that was over and here i just started making a random a random thing and it's uh i was not sure but i'm going to uh finalize uh this in shape i mean uh, you get my point <laughs> so um like here you can see that i am editing it and making it a some sort of couch uh thing here you can see that the uh, that product is completed as a sofa or some sort of couch uh, sofa <laughs> and here you can see that i you uh, switched to a new brush it's also a basic brush i guess uh, so here you can see uh, i made a toad uh, frog face and then few arms like indian gods and then i draw few different shapes for the legs i mean posing it and now i want it it to look bit bit little as compared to other as as you have seen that movie uh, what's the name transformers now that movie is in my mind and uh, uh, according to bit of it proportions i am coming up with the random shapes and uh you don't have to worry about like uh, what you are drawing here just because it's a it's a uh, rough design na so just keep going on and start just block the basic shapes you can later on edit it and make it look bit different like i have not done the line shapes here so just basic sketch 
uh, random sketch i would say <laughs> it's not perfect but uh, you can still come up with the basic shapes and like here you can see i'm adding bit details uh, to give you an overview what kind of details you can do later on in the process uh, if you are a freelancer or a student uh, or uh, like you have to give uh, give it to your client like to show what kind of output it's going to look like later on uh, so just uh, like here uh, what what you can do go and search the uh, images of heavy machines or whatever and overlay them or in the multiply mode just uh, to add bit of the details here because drawing every bit of detail is quite hard and uh, when you are drawing a hybrid of human or I mean organism and um, kind of machine creature just search I mean just uh, get ready with some images of characters or of other artists the work, the work they had done and like here I am adding a jet engine sort of thing like exhaust here come the basic hand uh, on just on the right uh, I mean left hand side uh, because on the right I can do it on the final design and giving bit of a depth here uh, to give the overview of hand and like here you can see the overall concept is quite different from the robots you have seen like hands will move to left uh, from uh, if you want to see the uh, I mean the final version of this robot the last one which I did uh, I please put a request there so that I can uh, make bit more details in it and I will upload the workflow there of that thing there uh, on my channel and I mean here on my channel 